Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a keyboard like this on your phone. You get to hear me now. So what you're going to need to do is get the app called Fancy Key Pro to make a keyboard like I showed you in the beginning of this video. So once you download Fancy Key Pro, pull up Fancy Key Pro and wait for it to load. And it's going to ask you like, um, do you want to send notifications, stuff like that, right? So you can just click yes or no, it's your choice. So after you do all that, at, see this plus sign at the bottom, you're going to click that. And then now what you can do is you can select a background that you want to put as your background of your keyboard. Like I, like I sh um, showed you, uh, mine was a phoenix, which I selected from my camera. So you could select something from your camera roll or, uh, like, yeah, I'm going to, actually, yeah. So, or you could just pick one of these. I'm just going to pick a classic this. Right. Next, it's going to ask you a type of like um, outline that to put your letters in. So what I chose is this. See, it puts that outline over there. But see bubbles. This is a bubble outline. Some are locked, which you have to buy. So I'm just going to select this. And then what, once we go here, it asks you to, to, to select a font. So there's some um, free ones on the top. You can find some in the middle and some at the bottom. So let me go to the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to choose this. And now I can go here. This is called the tapping effect. When you saw that when I tapped, it showed like fire, blue and red fire. So see now it's bubbles. That's a tapping effect. And I'm going to find some more free ones. Uh, there, this is the fire one I have. Okay, I'm gonna put this. And now, this is called a swipe. So when you swipe on your keyboard, it like makes a combination of letters. So watch, like you could swipe and it writes a combination of letters, uh, like a random word, basically. So that swipe, uh, there's only one swipe and the rest you have to buy. And then after that, there's sound. So I put mine as like a laser sound. So um, the, the default one is just normal tap, but you could go down, find some better ones. See, there's these. Uh, let me find one that I like. Um, see, there's so many to choose to choose through, but like most of them are not free, but it's okay though. See, this is my laser one. Wait, no. Okay, no, this is not the right one, but like it's one of them. You know what? I'll choose this, right? So actually, uh, after you're done that, after you do that, go here and name your keyboard. So I'm just gonna name it Orange Custom Keyboard. Oh, keyboard, okay? So I'm just gonna refresh it, okay? So after you do that, what you need to do is go to settings, right? Then to, after you go to settings, go to general. And now after you go to general, go to keyboard. And see over here on top, it says keyboards three. Click that. And look, I already enabled my fancy key pro uh, keyboard. But what you need to do is uh, click add a new keyboard. No, 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 not add a new keyboard. Um, you need to click over here. It's gonna like um, so f it's gonna say Fancy Key Pro, and then over there you could allow click allow full access. And after you do that, just exit, and you could just go to like Google or Safari or whatever. Watch, see, it's over there. Oh yeah, and by the way, to and so first after you do that, it's still gonna show a normal keyboard, but to um enable your keyboard, see this were uh this earth button at uh earth button at the bottom. This one that I highlighted, um, yeah. So that one, uh, click that, and then it will change it. And then when you want to change it back, click it again, and then it's gonna take you to the emojis. Wait, okay, yeah, there. And I'm gonna change it back there. So that's how you change the keyboard. 
from your custom to the normal keyboard. And so that's, so actually no, uh, I can also show you that on Safari, look, um, it, it still shows up, shows up on Safari, same thing. Um, messages, it's the same thing. Uh, it's basically the same thing on everything, anything that you type. All you have to do is click that earth, uh, like that globe button that looks like a globe, and it will automatically change it to your custom keyboard after you enable it in settings. So that's how you create a custom keyboard for your iPhone or an iPhone. I think you could do it on Android too. I don't know, but mine's is an iPhone. And yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and bye.